Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. Today, we're going to be doing another episode of my top 10 insert here that they should add to The Simpsons Tapped Out. Now, this video, we're going to be looking at the top 10 criminals that I think they should add to The Simpsons Tapped Out. So, my criteria for this is it can't be Mafia members because there is a separate category for them, so you won't see any Mafia members on this list. And also, they have to be you know like actual criminals not just bad guys so if they're just like evil rich people um but they're not explicitly criminals i've tried to keep those people out of there but I, i'm only going for people who've actually confirmed to have commit committed crimes on the show so those are the sort of people i'm going for now in the tapped out we actually do have a category called villains but this one does include people like mr burns snake and obviously all the characters you can see here so it's a bit loose i've tried my best to focus just on criminals themselves i think if they've appeared in the springfield penitentiary that's a good indication but obviously there's a few exceptions that i've uh, included on this list so yeah these are just a few if, I, if if there's any i've missed please do let me know i may have missed some it's just, it's sometimes difficult, you know, like, it's like when I do my top 20 characters or when I did that top 40, it's like, I, I, I kind of, I know what I want in the game, at least at the top of my head, but then there's something that just slips past my mind sometimes, so just let me know if there is anything I've uh, not included. Anyway, let's get into it with number 10, which I'm putting as Tattoo Annie. So Tattoo Annie obviously appeared in the episode where Marge goes to jail, what's it called? The one where Marge goes to jail for a bit <laughs> um yeah she basically is a tattooed lady in prison and she can do some funny things with her tattoos on her back um she's not the most interesting of characters but i don't know i figured at the very least she has a name she appears once and she also appears in that big human pyramid so i thought why not we'll include her as number 10 i don't know a lot of people seem to be uh, fans of her in the discord or at least a while ago i remember there was one person who was uh, a real tattoo annie fan so uh, th th this is my tribute to them, and also it would be cool to get Tattoo Annie. I, I, I think she's unique in the regards that she has tattoos, and also there's a cool animation that she could use with those tattoos. It's kind of weird. We don't actually have that many characters in the game that have tattoos. I'm trying to think. I know Snake does have one, but he's not like covered in them. So I don't know. That's number 10, Tattoo Annie. Number nine is Jack Crowley. So Jack Crowley, of course, is a prisoner in Springfield Penitentiary. He's also kind of like a... Well, I think he's actually in a separate prison, but he's also like an artist, and Marge kind of befriends him a little bit, and he wants to paint this cool painting, and Skinner says no, and then he ends up, I think, burning it or something. I don't know. I forget exactly what happens in that episode. But, yeah, he was pretty cool. I think there is a solid mini-update for him to be added in. I, I generally think they could make a mini update out of that episode and he'd be a cool ass character to get. So that is number nine, Jack Crowley. Definitely would love to see him in the game. Number eight is the French chef. So, ah, oh, this kind of annoys me, but obviously we have the Taste of Springfield in the game already, which is the kind of food parade or whatever you want or food festival that the French chef obviously appears in. And his little French connection stall can be seen in that building it's like a big eight in one or whatever it is it's like a big you know uh, a bunch of buildings in one and it kind of annoyed me that they added that building and not him because i feel like he'd be a really cool character to have and despite him not being named and despite him only being in one episode released uh, you know actually focused on in one episode i kind of found him like an interesting weird little villain and for me i, I kind of would have wanted him back I, i'd like to see him actually in the game now, I think a perfect update is obviously if they do some sort of criminal update, they could add him in that. Or, hail a uh, Bastille Day or some sort of French ver French event they could throw him in there. I don't know. I thought he was a cool little villain, so I personally would like him in the game. Even more so now, the French connection has been added without him, obviously, with it. Number seven is Jimmy the Scumbag. So, he's kind of like a... This guy's a bit of a random... Dude, he, he frequently appears in the background, at least in the early on in the show. He has recently appeared in, like, newer seasons, but obviously only his cameos. He's just this dude who walks around Springfield, and apparently he's known for being a bit of a sketchy dude. Apparently, I think I read on one of the wikis. I don't know how 
how true this is. But apparently he's a sex offender, so we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, they could do something interesting with him. Again, a criminal update is perfect to add him in. I, I don't know. I just think, you know, he's a, he's a frequent guy. He's appeared a fair few times in the background and stuff. So for being a resident background character, he gets number seven. And that's number seven, Jimmy the Scumbag. Number six is Phillips. I actually low-key kind of like Phillips. I think she's kind of cool. Obviously, this is the same. She comes from the same episode where Marge was in prison as well. I forget the name of the episode. Someone will have to remind me. I know I did a review on it ages ago, but I, I just don't remember. But uh, yeah, she obviously appears. Margin Chains, that was the episode. Uh, she appears in Margin Chains as well as Tattoo Annie. And Marge kind of befriends her. She's known. She apparently killed her husband with a Phillips screwdriver, so that's why she's called Phillips. And yeah, I don't know. I, I find it kind of charming. And at the end of the episode, she seemingly is getting with Barney, or at least Barney's like pretended to be like some upstanding guy and lied about like working in the power plant and stuff. So I actually think they could do something with with that. We never got a conclusion to what happened with Phillips and Barney, so that could be an interesting thing for them to do. Number five is the mugger. Oh, I actually really want the mugger in the game quite badly. It's it's surprising that he's not been added yet. And even more so is an extra thing that's kind of annoying is he technically appears in the game already in the form of Marge's, of Muscular Marge's task. So in Muscular Marge's task, she has a beat, beat up the mugger task and she beats up this dude. She beats the shit out of him and it's a, it's a task. So he's kind of already in the game already, we just don't have him as a playable character. So I would really love it if we get him as a playable character in the game. I don't know what they could do now. They'd have to add him at some later point. I think just throw him in the prize track or some sort of criminal update. Give us him, really, we need him. And they could also add on some stuff with Muscular Marge. We already have that animation with him, so they could just make it so if you own the character, the character does the animation with Marge and you earn a bit more cash and if you don't own the character you can still have that animation with marge without him it's just an easy solution there they've done it before with other characters so yeah and um, that's number five the mugger number four is walt warren uh i'm actually like loki thinking of switching these now no okay this is number five this is number four ignore me wait i don't want walt warren more than the mugger i want the mugger way more uh walt warren is number five slash number four anyway walt warren is obviously so there's two versions of Walt Warren, technically. There is the disguised version that Sideshow Bob uh, uses. So he puts on Walt Warren's face and pretends to be Walt Warren in an attempt to get close to the Simpsons to kill Bart. And then, 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 then there's the actual Walt Warren who's in prison who Bob switched faces with. So I personally don't care for having the costume. Part of me's like, eh, it could be cool. But the other part of me's thinking, do you know what? I think I'm happy enough with just getting Walt Warren. I don't think we need a costume on top of that. Now, granted, it'd be cool if Sideshow Bob would have a task, which is where he would be in the Walt Warren disguise, but I more so would like Walt Warren just to be a character. A little bit similar to the Chief Knocker Homer, but the difference is Chief Knocker Homer should have been a costume. I, I still stand by that. Whereas Walt Warren arguably could be both right you could be both a character and a costume so i don't know i think it'd be cool to get him as a character and as well we could get an animation for sideshow bob or if they really wanted to they could give us a give us a um an, a costume for sideshow bob with Walt warren as well i wouldn't want them to just give us the costume though i personally would like to have the actual character more so moving on number three is frank grimes is frank <laughs> frank grimes jr this is like a really weird character. I always found this episode so peculiar because I always forget it exists. Now, a lot of people love Homer's Enemy. They think it's one of the best episodes. I think it's definitely up there. It's definitely in the top 20 at the very least. Uh, probably the top 10. It's a great episode. It's real fun. But they had a sequel to it. And obviously they couldn't do a sequel with Frank Grimes because they obviously on screen killed off Frank Grimes. So it'd be weird if they gave us a Frank Grimes sequel with actual Frank Grimes. So instead, they give us one with Frank Grimes Jr., who looks just like Frank Grimes, and is also never mentioned in the original episode. I'm like 50-50 on the sequel. Part of me kind of likes the concept and the reveal, and part of me despises it, because it's like so retconny. But I don't know. 
at the very least, I would love to see Frank Grimes Jr. in the game. I think that would be very awesome to get him in, to get him in some sort of criminal update, or if they wanted to do it in episode time, based on that episode. I don't know if there's enough there personally. I think I think I looked at it a few years ago to see if it would be good enough for a mini update. But they could always like combine that episode with another episode to give us a mini update. That's possible too. So yeah, Frank Grimes Jr. is number three. Definitely would love to see him in the game. Number two is Cooter and Spud. So, Cooter and Spud are obviously the two carnies who run their uh, little ring toss game at the carnival. And they are blatant scammers. They scam people. They scam, well, they scam their customers. And they also scam the Simpsons out of their house. I do feel kind of sympathetic for these guys, though. I feel like they're sympathetic criminals. Like, I empathize with them a little bit. And obviously, they don't have the greatest of lives. And also, greatest of, I presume, well, from what we can tell, the greatest of upbringings either. And so, it's kind of like, yeah, I feel a bit sorry for them. But at the same time, they are technically criminals. And that's the category we're looking at. So, yeah, I, I put, I'm going to put them on here. I've put them together. But personally, I would like them as separate characters. I don't want these characters to be a two-in-one. I think they're unique enough to the point where it, I, yeah, I, I definitely would like them as a set, as two separate characters. A two and one, not for these guys. I think there are some characters you can argue, uh, or two duo, there's duos you can argue should be a two and one, like Sherry and Terry, that makes sense for being a two and one. Or another example is Bill and Marty. If they were ever to have Bill and Marty, I, I mean, I would be fine if they were added as separate characters, but also I kind of would like them to be added as two and ones at the same time. I don't know. I, I'd, be, I'd be cool with it either way, but like, I think there's a greater argument that they should be a two-in-one character because they're not like very unique, you know. That we only see them together, and and um, they don't have like unique personalities. Whereas Cooter and Spud do have unique personalities, I'd I'd argue. So yeah, it'd be cool to get both of them as two separate playable characters. A carnival event would work, or anything like that would work. Really, uh, I definitely think there is a big potential to add them. So. Uh, yeah, that's number two, Cooter and Spud. Very awesome. And then number one, can we have that drum roll, please? <laughs> number one is Lyle Landley. Okay, I, I couldn't. I couldn't not. I love Lyle Landley, and I realise that the Phil Hartman rule stands for this character. And that is a shame, because Lyle Landley is a cool-ass character. Now, technically, he has already appeared in the game before. He walks around your town, and he helps you start up the monorail thing. But he was never added as a permanent playable character, because Tapped Out have this kind of unspoken rule where they probably won't add Phil Hartman characters, because Phil Hartman's... All of Phil... All, well, all of Phil Hartman's characters were uh, retired after his murder. Now... I am like, I still kind of disagree with it. I think part of me is like this, right? The characters won't be voiced for a starter. So it's not like we're recasting Phil Hartman's characters or anything like that. And second of all, they're appearing in a non-canon game. So it doesn't even matter. And third of all, they already do appear in the show. They just appear in the background. Like they appear in background cameos all the time. And so like, I personally feel like just because they appear as because they appear as like background cameos and also the characters I don't expect the characters to be voiced. I, I agree that they probably shouldn't be voiced, obviously, because they would have to rip rip audio from the show. And you know, don't make them premium either. Don't make Phil Hartman's characters premium. And I feel like that's respectable enough. Don't make them premium. Don't make them and also maybe make them rare. Don't re-add them. Like make them rare characters. I feel like that way you, you kind of make it as respectful as possible. And also you're not like capitalizing on his characters either. You know, you're just adding them for free. And yeah, they'll be in the prize track. So theoretically you are capitalizing on them because, you know, people can rush the prize track with donuts. Sure, sure. But I still would like them in the game. So that's my argument for them. Um, but Lyle Landley is my number one for number one criminal. Obviously from Marge vs. the Monorail, if you didn't guess. But I can understand as to why he might not be added. But that is it, my list for the top 10 criminals. So we've got Tattoo Annie, Jack Crowley, French Chef, Jimmy the Scumbag, Phillips, The Mugger, Walt Warren, Frank Grimes Jr., although I'm switching these two around, and Cooter and Spud, and Lyle Lanley. So, yeah, tell me your thoughts on this list. Did you like it? And check the Discord for the next categories that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be deciding to do... I've got to decide it on the spot because I haven't thought of this. But the other categories that we've got, obviously, are top five 
uh, top 10 animals that aren't Simpsons pets. And we've also got a top 10 Lisa costumes, I believe. Yeah, top 10 Lisa costumes. So that I, that I want in the game. And I think for the next one, should we do should we do top 10 foreigners? Yeah, we'll do top 10 foreigners. So characters who aren't from the country of America, basically, um, is top 10 foreigners, which is a category in the tapped out. Yeah, that will be our thing. So anyway, go to, head over to the Discord to vote for which one you want to see next, and tell me your thoughts, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye.